Hey guys, I hope I have enough light in here to show this. Well, you know you love your friends, but a good portion of the time they're a pain in the butt. So I should have been going out this morning and doing some melody detecting while I'm waiting for a friend to do something. <sighs> I, I don't know. I don't know. You love your friends and you know they're there when you need them. But you got to be there when they need you. That's the tough part. In any case, here we go. I just uh, I just mounted my uh, my uh, <laughs> vice to the table. I just thought I'd show it uh, in its uh, in its un unfettered position, uncleaned yet. Before I go get my uh, vacuum or dust buster or whatever I've got around here, portable vacuum, and clean this thing up. Uh, I also want to show you the. Uh, haven't done a review of this. Not even sure I did a box opening. This is my. Uh, my uh, Porter Cable Edge Grinder, which I purchased a while ago, and I also purchased a cutting attachment here so I can put a cutting blade on it in the future, in addition to uh, the Dremel Sawmax I've got. So I'll have a couple of, of cutting alternatives. Now I got a box opening of something I'm actually am going to show you. Now, all of this stuff I'm showing you is not that expensive. Now, uh, you know, I think this was a 40, 35, 40 buck uh, edge grinder. Uh, I had the vice from, from long ago when I was doing a lot more auto repair work on a piece of junk car I had. And the Ryobi grinder is very inexpensive, sorry for the mess. Uh, as is, of course, by definition, the uh, the Harbor Freight one is, uh, is inexpensive. So let me uh, get the box opening and show you one other thing that I've gotten and, and then uh, maybe soon I'll be able to go out and actually do a little, uh, do a little of my favorite hobby, metal detecting. All right, guys, let me go get this box, and we're going to open it up here. And, uh, all right. Got a thousand knives here, and I'm using a nail to open a box. When you're moving things around, you attempt to simplify your life, and you're adding a few tools, which is directly contrary to that idea, then things get a little out of hand. But So, hopefully soon, I will reach the zen of existence and eliminate those things I don't need. Here we go. You're thinking of zen, this is a win. Very well reviewed, very inexpensive bench grinder. Uh, both of which are the reasons I bought it. Let's see here. And of course, even being an inexpensive bench grinder, it is not light. go guys. There's the Wind Beach Grinder. 30, 3450 RPM. Standard. Not exactly pretty or beautiful. But I think for the price, which was less than $50, it was a nice little bit little addition. I'm not going to put all the bits and pieces on, but I will be reading it because anything that can cause me physical damage, I try to become a lot more familiar than I do with some of the electronic stuff I just load and go with. But I do know these are the little uh, the little eye protectors that you can put above. I'm probably going to not be using those because I've got a jig coming in to make my knife beveling a little bit easier. Uh, I went out and did some beveling with this. It is not. It's not horrible, but I just decided before I really screw it up, I would uh, I would go ahead and uh, get a uh, get a jig and attempt to do it the way an amateur should before I try to do it the way a professional does. Well, some professionals do. Most professionals use a jig just for uncomplicating their life. So, just thought I would show you this. Uh, if I could do this, let me pop this thing loose. 
and unhindered because I'm in a, uh, a standard a standard electrical hot area in my uh, where I live uh, I am not plugging in everything at one time so it takes me a little bit longer to change from device to device I'm going to get a search protector put up here with multiple plugs. I'm never going to plug anything in at the same time and throw my circuits. Okay, guys, yeah, let me get back from here and I will switch it on for a sec. Yeah, I like that. Nice, quiet, until I begin to grind something. And of course, it's got a fine and a coarse wheel. So uh, you're going to be seeing that uh, in use uh, too. And I've also, I think that I'm so stupid, I don't have any protective devices. I've got, uh, I've got this, of course, uh, to help prevent uh, grinder bits and metal bits from going into my lung. Now, this is an eyeglass protector, and this is, this is pretty cool. And it, it gives you some protection, but I'm going to get a real uh, pair of goggles or something that will fit over my glasses. Because I am old and darn near blind. So, you know, all this is going to be getting going along in addition to the metal detector, which hopefully will be proceeding in an hour or two. I will talk to you guys later, and you have a wonderful day.